Hello friends and family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Rin. We're back at it again today with another first impressions. Oh, I love doing these videos. They make me so happy. Um, this is actually my second time filming this introduction because the first time I was pretty, I was a little overzealous. I was a little overzealous. I'm like, mm, let me, let me turn it down a notch. But back to the point. So we are doing a first impressions of the new Passion Planner Undated Daily Planner. Super excited to get this. This is the Lush Green. Y'all know how much I like the green. So yeah, um, this isn't my first Passion Planner planner. Um, I do have the weekly. Y'all have seen it on my channel before. Hey guys, future Ren. Um, I'm just gonna pop in really fast and give you like some numbers and stuff to go on before we get into the actual first impression because I filmed the entire first impression and then realized that hey I didn't even tell y'all you know cost and stuff so this is the um this is the lush green it is thirty dollars but there is a set special where when you buy three dailies you get the fourth daily for free there's a code on the passion planner website for that as well as, um, let's see here. And then this cover was designed by artist Zinwei Huang. Chinwei, um, I will, I'm gonna leave the link to this planner in the description down below, but that, that's it. I just wanted to let you all know it is, um, the Lush Green is $30 and there is a code on their website to, if you buy three, you get the fourth three because these are pretty much quarterly planners. If you wanna buy all, like a whole year's worth at the same time, power to you, um, you can do that. And then they have it in the Elite Black, so that's just like the standard black. That is That one is $25, but if you get one of like the special covers like this one or the um, Blush Blossom, or like the the other two, I can't think of the names of right now, they're $30. A little bit about this planner. So this is, like I said, the Undated Daily Planner in the lush green. It's 93 days, A5 sized. We got the Passion Roadmap that's in here, the Game Changer, Daily Layout, Monthly Overview, and Self Check-ins. This gives a little bit of blurb about Passion Planner and how you should align your days with your dreams. Here's my thing about Passion Planner. I have been so impressed by what they've been doing here lately with their marketing campaigns, with their social media campaigns. Like they have just honestly, with everything going on in 2020, I feel like Passion Planner as a brand has just taken everything in stride so well and they have adjusted things so well when they realize that maybe they didn't do the best thing. And I just, I really appreciate what they've been doing as a company like honest to god when everything was going on in the planner community with the different companies and morals and all that jazz passion planner just really really stepped up and i am here for it i am really here for this company so excited about this planner all right let's go ahead and get right into it i feel like i already said that we've already kind of been right into it but you know it is what it is I'm gonna take this guy off, put it to the side, and open up the page. So, right off the bat, not only do we have the if found, please return to, we have a who such what I'm grateful for, just right here on the inside of the cover. Thank you, Pash Fam. The only person you can truly heal is yourself. This planner is dedicated to anyone putting in the work to heal themselves. I, see, this is what I'm talking about with Passion Planner. I don't, y'all probably can't read it from this distance, but them right off the bat saying that before, or even like, you know, on the page where they have like their promo stuff, being like, hey, we are here for you. I just really appreciate that in a company. Um, so on this page, we have the if found information where you have like your name, it has the at symbol for whatever handle you want to put down, email, phone, align for reward, and then at the bottom, 
a little note to myself, it says, a little note to self. I am, I will, I am becoming. And then it says, rewrite and place it somewhere you look every day. I just, it's already like super like motivational without being like, live, love, laugh. Wonderful. Okay, it's also printed on sustainable paper. Um, I can't remember what um, nonprofit the Lush Green goes to, but I will leave that down below. Moving on to the second page, we have how will you benefit from Passion Planner daily? So it gives you a bunch of different like reasons to uh, use the planner. We have keep it all together, become the best you, follow your passions, get focused, put yourself first, declutter, customize it to your needs, look at the big picture, manage your time, and create a keepsake. And then, oh, we have a letter from uh, Angela Trinidad, who is the um, CEO of Passion Planner. So this says, hi, welcome to Passion Planner Daily, the notebook that helps you get your life on track one day at a time. We all feel lost at some point. As a queer first generation woman of color, my path has not been a straight one, pun intended, LOL. Despite the challenges I face, I've always had a trusty sidekick to rely on, my planner. But I was dissatisfied with the planners on the market, so I decided to create my own. And that's how Passion Planner was born. The clarity and empowerment I felt from using my Passion Planner was so life-changing that I had to share it with others. Now our hashtag PassFam has grown to a million strong. With the Passion Planner and the hashtag PassFam in my corner, I feel ready to take on anything. I hope they do the same for you. And when in doubt, remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to start. Wishing you courage, and Angela Trinidad, CEO of Passion Planner. P.S. See you online at Angela Trinidad. I just, have I talked about how much I love this brand yet? Because I just really love this brand. Um, okay, sorry, let me, I, I really need to calm down, but like, I don't want to calm down. Um, here's another sp spread about how Passion Planner Daily works and kind of just breaks down the spread, so. I'll probably refer to this as we're looking at a blank spread because it's a little with all the writing and the coloring, which this looks like a gorgeous spread and it's probably similar to how I'm gonna use it. It's a little, um, it's a little busy over here. So now we have the free space inspiration. So this gives you a list of stuff to use for all the free space in the planner. Um, if you've looked at the weekly, you're familiar with the free space. So it just gives you a list of possibilities that you can use it for and then an area to write your own ideas. This page we have just start. Date started, date completed. Because this is like a 93 day planner, so it's three months, I like this because at a glance you can just be like, okay, this is August 2020 through October 2020. Right, that's three months. Yeah, that's three months. Here you have your passion roadmap, um, an evolving wish list starting focus, start focusing on what really matters to you. So this is kind of where your goal setting for this planner starts. Um, something that I use to do in my weekly is I don't really use my weekly as a goal planner, but with this one, that's kind of my plan. I want to make sure that I'm focusing on my goals and that's how I tend to use this one. So it breaks it down with your wish list for, you know, three months, one year, three years, and lifetime. And then they go about this um, game changer goal. And that's going to be pretty much, um, your game changer goal is pretty much the goal that you want to work on. Like the, it's the goal that you're like, my life will be better as soon as I do this. So then it goes into defining and brainstorming your, this month's game changer goal. Oh, look at this. Is this a yearly view? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so this is the yearly view. Um, I love this kind of setup where it has the months at the top and then one through 31 and the, um, the months that don't have those days are shaded. Really loving how neutral and just 
boom, this is what you need it to be. Do with it what you will. <laughs> Enjoy that a lot. And because, even though this is an undated planner, it does run January through December. And then you go to the first monthly spread. It's just, it's, y'all, it's neutral. I love neutral. It makes me so happy. So you do have month of at the top, blank space for you to write the month. And then you, it's undated. Do you want a Sunday start? Do you want a Monday start? It doesn't matter. You can put whatever you want. Do you want your, do you want your week to start on a Wednesday? You can put Wednesday down. How great is that? Oh my God. Um, and then, yeah, so you just put, you know, whatever week order that you want and write in your calendar. You have a spot for months focus. You have it divided into personal and work. People to see, places to go, things to learn. And then you have your projects down below. Your personal projects are divided into top priority project with due dates and then project with due dates, as well as your work projects are separated from top priority to just regular projects. Did y'all see the little fly? Ooh, I don't like that at all. Um, and then you have area over here, break it down, create a mind map of this month's game changer. Love that. And then you have your self check-in. Oh, okay, all the months are together. Cool, okay, so self check-in. What's on your mind? Rate this month from one to 10. Memorable moments. Accomplishments I'm proud of, I will celebrate by. How I've grown, biggest lessons. I like that. I'm not a huge fan, of, like I'm not really a journaler per se, but I like these prompts of like, being able to look back and be like, what did I accomplish this month? What, what are my, what would my therapist say? Um, what are my opportunities for compassion? Is what is the wording that I'm gonna use for that? Uh, and then you go into another page of this month's Game Changer Goal, another monthly spread, same thing with the check-in and the Game Changer Goal, and another monthly spread. Oh. Oh, how many monthly spreads do you get? Okay, you get four monthly spreads. Okay, so after the fourth month, instead of doing another game changer page, you actually have a since you started this planner page. So the categories are, how has your year been so far? What has brought you the most challenge? What has brought you the most joy? What do you want to dedicate more time to? I like that. And I like, here's my thing about this, is it is a, this is pretty much a quarterly planner, is what it is, what it boils down to. So I like how the questions aren't necessarily like, oh, how did your year go? What do you want to do in the next year? It's, hey, how's your year been so far? What brought you your challenges? What do you wanna work on? I, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of having all the months together. I did buy tabs, like monthly tabs that I'll probably end up using so that way I can keep the months together separate. But anyway. Okay. So immediately, right after that, um reflection, you go right into your first daily page. All right, this is what we came here for, right? So at the top, you have today's focus and a line, and then you have a spot for the date, and then you have a little Sunday through Saturday letters where you can circle like, okay, it's Monday, it's Wednesday, it's whatever. Then you have my game, you have a space for my game changer goal, and you have three lines for that. You have a space for personal stuff and you have five lines for that. Same with work. You have free space to grow, self-maintenance, best thing that happened, today I learned, today in one word, mood tracker, and then your time goes from five to 11. No, it does not say 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. It just says five to 11 and you do have the half hours. I would love this so much more. Just honest, and this is gonna sound really nitpicky 
but I've told y'all how I feel about, you know, hourly slots before. My days can range from 4 a.m. to midnight. This comes so close. It is so close to being absolutely perfect. So close. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Like, honest, like I will take this because here's my thing. If I start work at 4.30, it's still easy enough to put it at the five o'clock. It's only half an hour. The only thing about that is I can't put in like my morning routine. But when I have to be at work at 4.30, guess what? I'm not doing my morning routine. I'm not. <laughs> it's not happening at 3 a.m. I'm not, I'm not that person. So I can live with that. And the fact that it doesn't go all the way to midnight, also, same, it doesn't matter. I don't have to write in my bedtime every single day. On the days that it's applicable, by all means, I will. But it's easily something that I can put down on the self-maintenance of like, hey, woke up at, went to bed at, and keep track of it that way. And then you have space of infinite possibility. Journal, draw, brainstorm, take notes, mind map. You can do whatever you want on this page. like. They gave the uh, list at the beginning. Yeah, so that's it. You got space of infinite possibility. They gave you a list. Drawing, taking notes, mind map, daily journaling, agenda minutes, notable highs and lows. If you could change, like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you put here. What I would honestly probably put here is maybe, because I want this to really be a daily planner and I'm gonna incorporate a lot of work stuff into it. Like I'll probably write, you know, today's dream team. Who am I working with that day? What cleaning tasks need to happen at work? Okay, so I just flipped through. Hello. Um, there is nothing separating the daily pages like week by week or anything. So it's honestly free game of, say you miss a day. Like say like, oh, I did Thursday, but you know, Friday I was sick. I can go right into Saturday and then not be like, oh, I have to skip a nah, you're you're good. That's exciting. Um, but yeah, that definitely does does make me want to um, use tabs. Thankfully there is a bookmark that I can keep, like, oh, this is this is the day that I'm on, but yeah. Okay, so then you have Dotted pages, dot grid pages. How many dot grid pages do you have? Looks like you have 11 dot grid pages. Nice. Oh, all right. So at the very back of the planner, you have this congratulations page. Super sweet. Time to celebrate. You have come so far. We are so proud of you. We'd love to hear your story and thoughts. Write us anytime. And then gives the support email. I love that. I just, it's, it's such a little thing of like, hey, congratulations, you made it to the end of the planner. Woohoo. I love that. And um, then you have the back pocket. Oh, here's also the, um, the closure. You have the back pocket and inside you have the, um, a sticker. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to start. And then this journaling card of create the life you've always wanted, which I love this journaling card. In fact, um, the one that I got during my weekly order or for my weekly, um, where did it go? Well, the one that I got um, when I ordered the weekly planner, I actually have in one of my, um, in one of my planners. So, and this will probably go on my desk. I have the um, side of my desk. I tape all my like favorite journaling cards too. So this is probably gonna go there. Anything else in there? Nope, cool. Okay. Love that. I am going to quickly do a pen test. I'm just gonna go back to this last page over here. And I'm gonna grab some of my favorite pins and we will get right into it. So I think I got rid of all my ballpoint pins, at least in the office. I seriously can't find one anywhere. 
probably because I don't like ballpoint pens, so they're not one of my favorite pens to keep around, but whatever. So we have the Microperm in 03. This is the Papermate Ink Joy Gel in 07. We got a mild liner. This is the Poiple. And then we got a Prismacolor Premier in 03 as well. So let's, let's see what's going on. Okay, so I forgot that I actually wanted to do it on this page, not this page, but whatever. You got some slight ridging on the Ink Joy Gel. That's it. And then the Microperm has some ghosting, but that is about it. Cool. Okay, so that's gonna be it for my first impressions. Overall, I am super impressed, super excited. I cannot wait to set this up and go over it with you. It will probably be, you're probably gonna see this a lot. Um, I'm thinking about incorporating this planner into like my like weekly lineup of videos because I'm just, I'm super pumped. I am super duper pumped for this. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, overall, love this planner, super excited to use it. I'm excited to show you guys how I use it. I might have a setup video here soon, maybe. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.